This video demonstrates the technique of exploring sociocultural contexts. Welcome Bennu. What a lovely name. Does it have a particular meaning for you? Thank you. My name means Eagle Girl in my Egyptian culture. Eagle Girl. Hmm. What brings you to see me today, Bennu? I have been feeling restless and distracted lately, but I can't quite put my finger on why. Okay. What is usually happening in these moments when you feel restless and distracted? Most often, I'm at home by myself, or in the library. Lately though, my friends are complaining that I'm not paying attention when they talk to me. So you feel less focused and present lately. Why do you think that is? I think I am feeling confined. Almost trapped. I have this urge to run away. Figuratively speaking. What would you be heading towards, and what would you be leaving behind? I'm an Egyptian girl, an only child, who wants to be a marine biologist. I would be running away from everyone else's expectations, of who I am and who I will become. Expectations based on culture and gender. What else? I'm very smart. And I know my teachers think I'm smart. But they look at the immigrant kid in the chair, and lower their expectations. Everywhere you turn, there are expectations that don't line up with what you want for yourself. Yeah. I don't want to marry a guy from our community, and stay home with kids, or do something, realistic, for a career. I have an image of my future, that no one else seems to believe in. You know what you want, and what you are capable of. But it feels like your family, community, and teachers have a vision of your future that is limiting. I wonder if your restlessness and urge to escape, comes from feeling trapped by these expectations. I just want to be free, to be my best self. Not put in a box, that doesn't suit me. Perhaps we can explore, that box, in more depth in our next conversation. I wonder what it would be like for you, to draw or journal, about that box this week. I like to draw. I can see the box already, in my mind. This has been helpful. I look forward to seeing you next week.